I've already been here once today and asked for comment. And what we're asking for comment on is the Deputy Premier's daughter, Dominica Barillaro, who travelled from Queen Bien to a COVID hotspot in Greater Sydney and then all the way back here to Canberra. I was only fined a thousand dollars. Now other people have been given six month jail so sentences, eleven thousand dollar fines. Uh, apparently she was very remorseful and felt very, very sorry, so they went and lied on her. How lovely. So we're not even sure if she's in quarantine. So we'll head back in see if they've got an official comment. They just screeched at me before and told me to get out. I weren't very happy. There we go, bros. So, just to confirm, no official comment. This office has no official comment on Dominica Barillaro. No blatant disregard. No comment. What about the measly thousand dollar fine she was handed? Can you leave, thank you? Yep. We don't uh, appreciate the filming. Can you no, leave? you're confirming, no comment. Um, no filming, thank no you. No comment, yep. There you go, guys. Blatant double standards, disgusting. No comment from the office of John Barillaro. No comment. Thank you for that. So, what I'm going to do, guys. Any comment, please? Any comment? Looking for comments on John Barillaro's daughter. Blatantly breaking the COVID rules, travelling to a hotspot, and only being fined a thousand dollars. We have an arrest warrant for Dominica Barillaro. Please present her. Any comment on Dominica Barillaro blatantly breaking the COVID regulations and only being fined a thousand dollars? Blatant double standards. Oh, very double standards. Very double standards. Disgusting, isn't it? You're Only find a thousand dollars. Where are you heading? You're a jerk. You're a jerk, ma'am. She travelled to she travelled from Queanbeyan to a COVID hotspot and back to Canberra and was only fined a thousand dollars. Other people are being given six months in jail and eleven thousand dollar fine. Do you think that's fair? I don't. The people of Australia don't. Any comment? No comment from the office of John Barillaro. It's disgusting, the Australian people don't like it. We have an arrest warrant for Dominica Barillaro. <coughs> Anything to say for yourselves, other than no comment and get out. We do not like double standards. We do not like being brutalised. We're sick of the lockdowns, while people like Dominica Barillaro flaunt the silver spoon that was put in her mouth. Princess Peach. We won't stand for it, Super Mario. We have an arrest warrant for Dominica Barillaro. Please present her for blatantly breaching the COVID regulations. She still has $10,000 on her fine and six months in prison. <coughs> arrest warrant for Dominica Barillaro. Please present her. The disgusting double standards and hypocrisy will not be stood for any longer. Filth. Absolute filth. No comment is all they have to say. Not even. Get out. That's all they have to say. Where is Dominica Barillaro? Please present her. She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine and six months in prison. She blatantly breached the rules. Travelled to a Sydney hotspot and then back here to Canberra and was only fined $1,000. Disgusting. Disgusting. 
Absolutely putrid. Horrible. Any comment? Any comment from the office of John Barilaro? No comment. We have an arrest warrant for Dominica Barilaro. Please present her. She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine and six months in prison. Please present her. There you go, mate. You have a cigarette? No, I don't have a cigarette. Sorry, I don't smoke, brother. Sorry. Sorry, matey. Dominica Barilaro, where are you? You owe $10,000 on your COVID fine and six months in prison. Any comment from the office of John Barilaro on the blatant disregard for the COVID regulations by his daughter? While the rest of us are being brutalised and locked up, she blatantly flaunts the rules and is only fined $1,000. Disgusting. We have an arrest warrant for Dominica Barilaro. Please present her. We've had enough of the double standards. Enough. Where is Dominica Barilaro? She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine and six months in prison. She blatantly breached the regulations and traveled to a hotspot and was only fined $1,000. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. Any comment? No comment. Putrid. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. What do you got to say for yourself, Barilaro? Nothing. Sit there with a greasy little smile on your face. Putrid. Absolutely disgusting. We won't stand for the double standards anymore. We've had enough. Where is Dominica Barilaro? We have a warrant for her arrest. Dominica Barilaro immediately. She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine and six months in prison. Disgusting double standards, disgusting hypocrisy. We won't stand for it any longer. We've had enough. Present Dominica Barilaro now. We have a warrant for her arrest. Any comment? Any comment on the disgusting hypocrisy? The blatant double standards? Any comment on Dominica Barilaro travelling to a COVID hotspot and only being fined a thousand dollars? Where's her six months in prison? Where's the eleven thousand dollar fine? She still owes ten thousand dollars. Present her immediately. <coughs> Disgusting. Dominica Barilaro travelled from Quebec to a Sydney COVID hotspot and back through Canberra and was only fined a thousand dollars. Disgusting, other people are being given six months in jail, $11,000 fines. People are being beaten for work, not wearing masks. People are being beaten for trying to run their businesses. And Princess Peach here gets away with it. A $1,000 fine, disgusting. We have a warrant for the arrest of Dominica Barilaro. Please present her. We will not stand for it any longer. We've had enough. No comment, no comment, that's it, disgusting. Please present Dominica Barilaro now. She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine and six months in prison for blatantly breaching the regulations traveling to a Sydney COVID hotspot and then back through Canberra. A $1,000 fine is not enough, disgusting, absolutely despicable. Any comment? No comment. We'll go and see what the police have to say. Finding out a thousand dollars, disgusting. We'll go talk to the police. Shame on you. Shame on you, Barilaro. Shame on your daughter, Princess Peach, and the rest of you corrupt mugs. Dirty, disgusting politicians. We've had enough. No more. Please present Dominica Barilaro immediately. She owes $10,000 on her COVID fine at six months in prison. She is a blatant breacher of the COVID regulations. It's despicable and we will not stand for it any longer. Goodbye, sir.
disgusting despicable pigs off to the police station yes off to the police station we go yes please present Dominic Barillaro right now oh look they're stopping for me just for me just for me He's coming here just for me. How are you today, sir? Good, sir. How are you? I'm, I'm disgusted. Okay, what's going on? Disgusted. Uh, we're, we're looking for Dominica Barillaro, Deputy Premier's daughter. Okay. So uh, she, she blatantly you, breached the COVID regulations. Did you see that you're filming there? I'll just let you know. Uh, thank you very much. It's just so you know. Very nice of you to let me know that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well, my name's Customer Hanover from Premier Police. Can you tell me what's going on? Yes, I've just come down to uh, see if the office of John Barillaro has got any comment on the, the blatant disregard by the Deputy Premier's daughter, Dominica Barillaro. She breached the COVID regulations, travelled from Queanbeyan to a Sydney hotspot and then back through Canberra and was only given a $1,000 fine. Do you have any comment on that, sir? Mate... That by the Monaro police only gave her a $1,000 fine. Mate, that's what happens. You get a fine. A $1,000 fine for, for travelling to a COVID hotspot in, in Greater Sydney. That's it. That's it. So, mate, what I, I look forward to it. I plan on I plan on doing the trip myself next week. I look forward to my thousand dollar fine. Pardon me. What was your name, sir? I de I declined to give my name today. Thank mate, you. You've been causing harassment to these people. I have not been harassing them. I've been I've been demonstrating, uh, so which I'm well within my right to do. I'm going to be giving you a move on direction from this location and from this area here, especially at the front of John Barillaro's office. So, so you're, with, with all due respect, place. your move on directions do not apply to protests. Uh, I'm clearly. I'm clearly demonstrating, I'm wearing demonstrating clothing and I'm demonstrating a protest. Uh, well within my rights and move move on orders, move there's on orders do not apply. There's a difference between protest and harassment. Can you please tell me the difference, sir? Mate, you're causing them to fear. They've, they've contacted us because they're afraid of you. That is, that is not my concern, unfortunately, sir. It's not my concern. You put fear into them. I am no threat to anybody and... and, and just because they feel fear is not my not my issue. I have not caused. Well, it is an issue if, because well, you're causing them fear. That's not my issue, sir. Because well, that means you're causing me to feel fear now. You know that that guy, so that, this lady walking down, is causing me to feel fear. It's a. I'm, I'm well within my right to do what I'm doing, sir. I'm, I'm conducting a perfectly legal activity. I'm conducting a perfectly legal activity, sir. So, yes. I'm issuing you with an official move on direction. I'm sorry, sir. Your move on directions do not apply in this case. I'm sorry, sir. Your move on directions do not apply in this case. Listen. I'm sorry, sir. Your move on directions do not apply in this case. I was moving on anyway, as you could see. I was heading off anyway. Keep going, sir. Exactly. Leave the CBD of Queanbeyan. Leave. Excuse me. Leave the CBD of Queanbeyan. Give it a move on direction. What, what kind of what kind of direction is that? All right. Okay. To move. Mate. Sorry, I'm not being rude. I'm just I'm asking. I've never heard anything like that before. Move on. You're scaring people. Go. I'm not You're scaring. Walking, well, so keep going. look, I I have not done anything illegal. Have I, have I committed a crime? You will commit an offence. Have I, have I committed not, an offence? If you do not abide by my direction, you, you will commit an offence. You cause fear in people, that is an offence. I don't I believe so, sir. So I'm conducting a legal protest. A legal protest. Actually. You don't care what I think? No. I think it's no, it's about the law. Like it's about the law. People, those people think. It's about the law. Yeah. And about... Thank you. See? Thumbs up from that lady. She knows. Thank you. you the go, people sir. of Australia won't stand for it anymore. Off you go, sir. Thank you. I'm heading down to the police station to see if we can get comment about from the Monaro police. Oh, on, uh, that's perfect. Off you go. Yeah, that's all right. Off so I'm allowed to keep, keep conducting my activities at the front of the police station. Yes. You're allowed to move on from this location. I'm from this location. For anything else? I, I'm, giving, I'm, I'm, I'm heading off anyway. I'm, I'm not leaving because you'll move on direction. I'm heading off anyway because you're. No, I live here. You your move on directions do not apply, sir. So, your move on directions do not apply here, sir. Your move on directions do not apply to me, sir. They do not apply to me, sir. Right. So you can expect these tyrants are going to arrest me. Tyrants. 